The short line saw some heavy downpours that quickly flooded the streets. So much water, in fact, that streets had to be closed, leaving some cars stuck. News 8's Stephanie Simone continues our team coverage tonight. She's live in Bridgeport. Stephanie. Good evening, Ann. You know, the thing about flash flooding is as soon as it comes down, it starts to recede. So those minutes can be really important minutes as that water starts to rise. Here in Bridgeport, a car stalled out underneath a train pass here. They have this road closed. We are at the intersection at Connecticut Ave and Bishop Ave. And if you see that car there, you can see the doors are open. Like people had to jump out of the car quickly as that water started to rise and we saw that kind of scene all over the place here in Bridgeport as well as in Westport. Over in Westport we went there first then we came to Bridgeport. In Westport they had two cars towed after once again they got stuck under one of those train passes. If you see that still water you know it is just such a good reminder just don't go through it. You don't know how deep it is. You don't know if your car is going to clear it and it's just always better to be safe than sorry. That's why here on News 8 we say turn around don't drown. It's a good reminder. It's something to think about as we are getting not only this rain tonight, but more rain, of course, is in the forecast. For now, we are live in Westport, or we are live in Bridgeport. I'm sorry, we were in Westport or earlier. We're live in Bridgeport tonight. Stephanie Simone, News 8. And we're getting some photos and video of the wild weather from our viewers to report it. A look at the flooded streets in New Haven. You can see drivers taking their chances there. Pickup truck and SUV making it through the high water. Luckily, Anytime you have reported photos, we want to see them, send them to us at email us at reported at WTNH.com by using our free reported app.